Hi, welcome back to Elements in Focus. My name is Aaron Rayum. I'm the Director of Financial Planning. And as always, I've got Grant Sullivan giving you the weekly wave. Uh, <laughs> he is the Manager of Advisor Operations. Grant and I are covering our five critical elements like we do every Friday. Uh, this week, we're going to talk about risk management and life happens, and we're going to get right into it. What we want to talk about now is the open enrollment season in your benefit selection. That is coming down the pike if it's not already there. Mm -hmm. We get a lot of questions about this every year. So, Grant, go ahead and uh, talk to our folks about open enrollment and benefit selection. Absolutely. So, yep, tis the season of open enrollment. Uh, we thought it uh, would be nice to go through this with all of you folks. And so it's not something that any of us miss. Our HR departments, right, they're very adamant about making sure we select our dental and health care benefits. And so we, well, the one thing we want to talk about today is don't feel like you have to make these decisions in a vacuum. Sure. If you have a, an advisory team member, like a financial hands group, for example, please utilize your team. Utilize your advisors, because remember, we often are talking about not making your investment selections, your planning decisions in a silo. Please also don't make your health benefit selections, your other benefit selections from work in a silo either. You want to look at the whole operation. What do we mean by that? Well, oftentimes in open enrollment, depending on the stage of finance you're in, accumulation, preservation, distribution, remember, those are the three phases of finance, and there's other videos you can go back and watch to kind of distill what those are but you're gonna make different decisions on your benefits in those three phases. So for example, in accumulation, let's say that you don't have children, you're newly wedded, and you have this thing called a high deductible plan with an HSA benefit, you're younger, you're healthier, you're not seeing the doctor nearly as much, you're not needing as many medications, right? Going for that high deductible plan to get access to something called an HSA, health savings account, is super powerful. We could stand here and talk for hours with the benefits of that and why it's a good decision in that phase of finance. Versus, hey, you're in preservation, right? You're a high wage earner. We wanna make sure that the disability benefits are totally robust. There's enough insurance from work because it's super cheap, by the way, to cover in, a, in an instance where you need a capital replacement for loss of, of uh, assets or income, all the way to distribution, right? How, you know, if you, if you were taking an HSA plan, have you stopped it six months prior to Medicare? Have you done certain things appropriately? So open enrollment's a very critical time um, when you're making benefit selections for you and your family. And we just wanted to say in this piece, call your team if you have questions. You're making a lot of decisions, and oftentimes people are just penny pinching on payroll, or and they're not looking at the full robustness of the benefits they're provided. So please don't make those decisions without talking to your team member or reaching out and asking us questions. So if you're looking to schedule, um, you're, or you're looking to do your benefits, and you're looking to schedule a time with our team. Give us a call, 800-928-4001. We'd be glad and happy to help you in that process. Or you can send a question to talk to FEG at yourlifeafterwork.com. I will say, if you're asking for a specific question, we're probably not going to be able to help you without knowing your whole situation because we don't want to lead you to make a really bad decision. Right. Um, but that's what I would say to that, Aaron. Yeah, thank you for wrapping that up, Grant. Um, one last thing is he said you can schedule your complimentary Next Steps meeting. Uh, we'd be happy to see you in the office. Please, if you're going to look at your benefit election uh, and you want someone to review that, send that to us so we can see the full picture. Um, sometimes they also have group life insurance inside mm -hmm. of your uh, benefits coverage, and it does make sense to take advantage of that because you can provide ample uh, life insurance coverage for a very cheap cost. So as you're reviewing and going through your benefits, if you need a helping hand, please reach out to us. Schedule a meeting, 800-928-4001. And as Grant mentioned, if you have questions, send those to talk to FEG at yourlifeafterwork.com. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.